everyone first of all thank you for subscribing my channel i know all of you might be waiting for my first video in this video i am going to teach class 10 icsc biology chapter 1 cell an independent unit of life without further delay let's go to our channel Welcome to our teaching learning channel. Let me begin with a short story. In a class of students, a motivational speaker has showed 200 rupees note and asked the students who wants it. Everybody in the class raised their hands. But he did not give the notes to anybody instead he threw the note and stamped on it with his legs later he has taken that notes and asked who wants it again nobody raised their hands that's the story for today moral of the story you are going to tell me in the comment section now Let's go for the topic of the day. Cell. What do you mean by a cell? What do you call a cell as? Let me tell you an example. Suppose a building is there. A building is made up of many such bricks. Am I right? Yes. Likewise, our human body is totally made up of many cells. the cells may be same cells and the cells may be different types of cells but what is a cell cell is the structural and functional unit of life what do you mean by the word structural and functional the name itself says functional means each cell performs different different functions means the whole human body is not made up of a single cell it is made up of different different types of cells which performs different different functions so the cell is defined as structural and functional unit of life how are these cells formed how are these cells formed cells are formed by repeated divisions of pre-existing cells when i tell the word repeated divisions i mean to say the basic function of a cell is cell division division new cells are formed not from anywhere else new cells are formed from their pre-existing cells pre-existing cells breaks into two and form a new cell this is how cells are formed told by rudolf virchow next we are going to discuss about types of cell what are the cell types cells are divided based on three categories their number their size and their shape cells are divided based on number into two categories multicellular cell and an unicellular cell as the name says what is a multicellular multi means many many cells the total body is made up of many cells a very simple example is spirogyra if you look into this diagram this is one cell this is one cell and this is one cell since i couldn't draw the whole spirogyra in the board i have drawn a bit of spirogyra so in this bit itself i have drawn three cells so i'll definitely name it as a multicellular cell coming to the name unicellular cell as the name says uni means single one 
द होल बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ जस्ट अ सिंगल सेल अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल इज अमीबा वी ऑल ऑफ अस लव टू ड्रॉ अमीबा बिकॉज वी कैन ड्रॉ इट इन टू एनी शेप्स सो द सेल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर नंबर मल्टी सेलुलर एंड एन यूनि सेलुलर नेक्स्ट टाइप इज द साइज ऑफ द सेल बेस्ड ऑन साइज ऑफ द सेल सेल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स मैक्रोस्कोपिक एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक मैक्रो मीन्स बिग माइक्रो मीन्स स्मॉल look at this cell this giraffe giraffe has the longest cell if you see it starts from here and it ends here it's 3 meter long it's the nerve cell so macroscopic cell is present in giraffe what do you mean by macroscopic the cell which is longest is called as macroscopic next microscopic as the name says micro means very small see this seems to be big in the board but it is very tiny creature it is intermediate between virus and bacteria what is it intermediate it is intermediate in the size virus seems to be the very 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 smallest creature smallest microbe and bacteria so this mycoplasma is very very small that lies between virus and bacteria so cell is divided the second type of cell division is based on the cell macroscopic and microscopic the smallest cell is in the human sperm and in the largest cell is human ovum and also in the ostrich egg ostrich egg has the largest cell next the longest cell is your nerve cell third category is based on shapes of the cell you have seen so many shapes i have mentioned very few it's a nerve cell which seems to be very long the long shape of the cell or long ness is because to carry the impulse from different parts of the body to the brain that is this cell has to function for very long distance from the brain to different parts of the body and from different parts of the body to the brain so it need to be very long that's the first shape second is rbc as we all know rbc is red blood cells red blood which is present in the blood the shape of this rbc is biconcave we all have seen in physics concave shape so biconcave is it's bent outwards biconcave so why is this shape normally the cells are more or less spherical in shape or longer but here if you see it's totally biconcave and flat on both sides this is because rbc or blood cell being a connective tissue it moves into a very small tubes or a very big tubes or blood vessels whatever it is so the shape of the cell is flattened and biconcave so that it enters into all the types of body parts number 3 is wbc white blood cells as the name says they are white in color they are amoeboid in shape we all know amoeba do not have any shape likewise wbc cell also do not have any shape it is shapeless why because the function of wbc is it protects the body from diseases that is it acts like a soldier and defense mechanism so when any foreign particle or any unwanted things enter into our body wbc cell alters its shape and engulfs the 
foreign particles or unwanted particles and destroys it for the body and gives protection number 4 is bean shaped cells this is not found in the human body as the name says the cells are in beans like so this is found in the god cells in stomata we all know stomata is present in the plants especially in the leaves what is this stomata meant for it is meant for respiration this god cells help in they open and close during respiration so what is respiration taking in air and giving out unwanted air that is not needed for the plant so this god cells helps in regulation of those gases in and out so it has to be bean shaped it cannot be spherical if it is spherical it cannot open and close if it is flat it cannot open and close so it's bean shaped so that it can easily open and close next structure of a cell a cell has three main parts in its structure number 1 its cell membrane number 2 nucleus and number 3 cytoplasm it also has cell organelles along with this three the cell organelles are not a separate part it is a part of cytoplasm let's discuss about this each one in detail what is the cytoplasm and protoplasm means protoplasm plasm is nothing but it's a fluid it is the living content of a cell which is surrounded by a plasma membrane the living content of a cell which is surrounded by a plasma membrane what do you mean by living content the content that is meant for the major activities for the body that is responsible for the major activities of the body next the living content plus your protoplasm plus your plasma membrane minus your cell wall the cell wall does not come under this three together makes your protoplast the cell also has cell organelles as i said what are the cell organelles they are membrane bound structures membrane bound structures are called as cell organelles in my next video i will discuss in detail about each and every cell organelles along with diagrams and explain you very clearly task for this day a cell can be defined differently in physics chemistry and biology today's task is you have to define a cell in physics in chemistry and in terms of biology separately and send me in comment section if you like my video share it to your friends and subscribe my channel thank you for today